Hello friends, my name is Yugesh Maramka and today we are going to see uh, Morris algorithm or substring search. It is also called as Nut Morris Pratt algorithm or KMP pattern matching or KMP substring search. So it is also actually used for substring search. So uh, what is actually the case is a text will be given and if I want to find out a particular pattern in that particular text, so I can find out this thing with the help of KMP pattern matching. So let's see one example. So this is a given text. So in this case, the text is A, B, C, B, C, G, L, X. And the pattern which we want to find out is B, C, G, L. So you can see this particular pattern is present in this particular text, B, C, G, L. So we are going to see how we can do the same thing with the help of Morris algorithm. So first of all, we will start with the usual way how this thing is done and then we will move to Morris algorithm. Okay, so let's start. So this is the text and this is the pattern. So what happens in usual way is how this pattern is being find out is <clears throat> the search starts from zero index in the text and zero index of the pattern. So this A will be compared with B. Now there is no match, so then this B from the pattern will be compared with this B. So there is a match. Then this C will be compared with this C. There is a match. Then this G is compared with this B. Now there is no match in this case. So what happens in the usual way is <clears throat> we move to the previous character to the currently matched character in the text and then that particular character in this case C, C, C will be matched with the first character that is the starting character of the pattern so in this case this C will be mapped with B so there is no match then this B will be mapped with B then this C will be mapped with this C then this G will be mapped with G and then this L will be mapped with L so this is how we found out this pattern B C G L this is the usual way how pattern matching is done so <clears throat> what is the worst time complexity required in this case the worst time complexity required is order of M N where this M is nothing but the length of the text and this N is nothing but the length of the pattern so this is where KMP algorithm comes into picture in case of KMP algorithm, time complexity required for the same thing is order of n plus n. So the, the next topic we will see is KMP algorithm. So now we will see how KMP algorithm works or Morris algorithm works. So what we want to do is we want to find out this particular pattern in the given text. So this is the given text in our case and this is the pattern to be find out. So let's start with the KMP algorithm again. So here also we are going to start with the zero index. So what, what is going to happen first is this A will be compared with this particular A. So there is a match. Then this B will be compared with B. There is a match. Then this C will be compared with C. There is a match. Then this X will be compared with D. So see, there is no match. X is not matching with D. So what is our aim in case of KMP substring search is we don't want to go backward in case of text. So that is going to save our time. <clears throat> so what will happen in this case is if X is not matched with D. So what we do here is we go into the pattern and we find out the substring before the currently matched character in the pattern. So what is the substring here? So substring here is A, B, C. Why I am talking about ABC only because ABC is before the D, which is the currently matched character, currently matched character uh, with X. And in this case, there is no match. That's why we are considering the substring before the currently matched character in the pattern, which is nothing but ABC. Now what we do with this? So here we check is there a suffix which is also a prefix? So as A, B and C, all these three are unique. So obviously there is no suffix which is also prefix in case of ABC. So what we do in this case is we compare the starting character that is A with X. So in this 
this case it is going to happen like this so this a will be compared with the x character from the text that means we have not moved backward in case of text <clears throat> that is our end that's why we are doing it like this so this a will be compared with x so there is no match then this a will be compared with this a so there is a match a and a compared match then this b will be compared with b there is a match c compared with c again it's a match d with d a with a b with b and c with x so in this case there is no match so we are at this particular point so there is no match so again what we are going to do is we don't want to go backward in case of text so we will follow the same way x c no match so try to find out the substring in the pattern before the currently matched character so what is the substring the substring in this case is this one a b c d a b a b c d a b that is before <coughs> currently matched character in the pattern so it is a b c d a b now try to find out is there a suffix which is also a prefix in this particular substring so you can check a b a b so it's a prefix and it's also a suffix what does it mean <clears throat> before c there is a b it means that there must be a substring of length 2 before the unmatched character in the text also that means what is the unmatched character x so there must be a b before x also that is the meaning of this again what is the benefit of this so it means that if that particular thing is a suffix and it is also a prefix that means no need to compare this thing again so you can start your search from the c itself because a b is already there that is same so you can start comparing from c so the next character which can be compared with this unmatched character in the text is c so this is how we go in case of kmp substring search so now this c will be compared with x again there is no match so what we do we find out the substring before the unmatched character in case of pattern so what is the substring in this case before the unmatched character in the pattern it is a b now a and b they are unique so obviously there is no suffix which is also a prefix in case of a b that means finally we are going to compare this starting character from the pattern that is a with x so a x no match that means a will be compared with next character that is a so there is a match then this b will be compared with b there is a match C will be compared with C match. D will be compared with D. There is a match. A will be compared with A. There is a match. This B will be compared with B. It's a match. Then C will be compared with C. It's a match. Then this D will be compared with Y. Now it's not a match. So again, find out the substring before this currently matched character from the pattern. So what is the substring? a b c d a b c now check is there a suffix which is also a prefix so yes you can find out a b c is a suffix and same is the prefix that means no need to check a b c again you can start your search from d and again what does what does it mean it means that <clears throat> there must be a character of the length 3 in the text before the unmatched character in the text what was the unmatched character it was d so there must be a b c before d so you can see it here it's there that means you can search start your search from d so we are going to start the search from d so this d will be compared with this d so there is a match then this a will be compared with a there is a match in this b will be compared with b it's a match c with c it's a match and then finally y with y so it's a match so this is how kmp substring search works <clears throat> so in this case kmp substring search requires order of m plus n time where m is the length of the text and n is the length of the pattern so the next thing which we are going to see is how 
TNP substring search can be done efficiently by using an array. So to understand the efficient working of TNP substring search algorithm, what we need is we need one array. So here what we are going to see first is we are going to see how to find out that array first and then we will use that array to, uh, to, to see the efficient working of TMP substring search algorithm. So let's start with the steps to find out the array first. <clears throat> so I have this pattern. What I will do is I will point out this particular value with J and I will be pointing out this particular value. So I am talking about the pattern only. I want to fill these boxes with some values so that I will be using this array in the efficient working of TMP substring search algorithm. How to do that? That we will see in the next example. But let's see how to find out the array first. So the first value is always 0. So we write down 0 here. Then you compare i with j. So i's value is b and j's value is a. So they are not matching. So what we write down in the current position of i is we write down the j's value if it is not matching. So what is the j's value? J is pointing to it is 0. So you write down 0 here. And then you increment i. Okay. And then again compare i with j. Again it is not matching. That is a and c. So you write down the j's position value in the current position of i. That is you write down 0 here. And then you increment i. Again compare i and j. Not matching. So you write down 0 here. And then increment i. Now compare i and j. So it is a, a. So they are matching. So what to do in this case is. So in the current position of i. We write down j's position plus 1. So what is this current position is 0. So we write down 0 plus 1 in the current i position. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And then you increment i. As well as you increment j. So i will be pointing to b. And j will be pointing to b. Again compare i and j, so b, b, so they are matching, so you write down j's position plus 1, so j's position is what, 1, so 1 plus 1, you write down 2 here, and then increment both i and j, again compare i and j, so they are matched, so you write down 2 plus 1, that is 3, and then increment i, and then j as well. Now, <clears throat> compare i with j, so it is a and it is d, so they are not matching. So what to do in this case is, we go to the previous character to the j, that is c, and then we check for this index 2, what is the value in the array, it is 0, so we go to that particular position, that is 0, and j will be pointing to 0, right, and then compare j with i so a a so they are same what is j's position j is point what is the position j is pointing to that is 0 so you write down 0 plus 1 that is 1 so this is how you get this particular array and then you are going to use that array uh, for the efficient search substring search in KMP so let's now see how to run KMP algorithm efficiently with the help of array so this is a pre-built array which I have found out uh, by using the same method which we have discussed earlier. So this is the text given and we need to find out this particular pattern in this particular text with the help of KMP substring search algorithm. So let's see how that can be done. So as we have seen in the first example, let's compare A with A. So A will be compared with A. So there is a match. Then this B will be compared with B. There is a match. Then this X will be compared with C. Now there is no match. So, uh, and what was our aim? We don't want to move to the backward in case of text. So, as x is not matching with c, so what we do is we go to the previous character in the pattern, previous character to the currently matched character in the pattern. So, previous character is b, and then we check what is the value in the array. So, for b, the value is 0. So, we go to that particular index that is 0 that means this a will be compared with x so in our case x was not matching with c so it is b and it is x so this x was not matching with c so what we had done is we went to the previous character that is b we have seen what is the value in the array that is 0 
that means we should go to this particular index that is 0 so what happens in this case is now this a will be compared with x as it was 0 that's why we went here so a will be compared with x there is no match then we move forward in the text this a will be compared with this a so there is a match then this b will be compared with this b there is a match then this c will be compared with this c there is a match then a will be compared with a again a match b will be compared with b again there is a match now this c will be compared with y now in this case there is no match so what to do in this case how to use the array is go to the previous character in the pattern that is what is the previous character to y that is b check what is the value written in the array of this b so the value is 2 so we should go to this particular index 2 <clears throat> so we were comparing this c with y so there was no match that's why we have used the index of b that is 2 now it is pointing to uh, c so we should start our comparison from his c only and what does it mean oh, 2 means what it means that there is a substring of length 2 which must be there before c also so see a b is there and a b is there now this a b and this is that is this suffix and this prefix they are same that means no need to compare this particular prefix again you can start your search from this particular c that is second that's why the length was 2 so what we do is next is we compare this c with c so there is a match then this a with a again there is a match b with b and then y with y so this is how kmp algorithm can be run efficiently with the help of array so we have seen how to find out the array also so what is the time complexity uh, runtime complexity for this algorithm is order of n and the time complexity to build this particular temporary array is order of n so the total time, time complexity for this algorithm is order of n plus n and the space complexity for kmp substring search required is order of n so that's all about morris algorithm or kmp substring search thank you very much